Tonight, a well-known island publication considers a move from paper to cyberspace. Good evening. If you picked up yesterday's Guardian, you may have noticed something missing. The regular Thursday real estate guide was absent for the first time in years, and it could soon disappear completely. Steve Bruce has our top story tonight. Once a week for more than 20 years, Guardian readers found this island real estate guide inserted in their newspaper. So when the guide didn't turn up this week... The phones rang pretty steadily. A lot of people assumed that it, we'd just forgotten to put it in. But this was no case of forgetfulness. The real estate brokers who pay to have it published simply decided a weekly guide is no longer money well spent. It was the questioning, uh, is, it, is it as effective as it once was? As it was before the internet came along. Before agents started listing houses on real estate websites, buying Google ads, even creating pages on Facebook. Joel Ives says these advertising strategies are cheaper, interactive, and potentially reach a lot more people. There's no secret out there. Everyone is telling us that the consumer is online. Newspapers now are getting thinner because people are putting part of their marketing dollars onto online. And there lies a big challenge facing not just newspapers, but radio and television stations as well. Most of them depend on advertising revenue, but especially at a time when many businesses are struggling through a recession, there aren't many advertising dollars to go around. And this marketing consultant says more and more companies are spending much of the money they do have on internet advertising and hurting other media outlets in the process. The population is not growing nearly as quickly as the media alternatives that are available. And for advertisers, their budgets don't expand the same way either. So they have to pick and choose the ones that are going to be most effective and or most efficient for them. It's one of the reasons newspapers like The Guardian are investing more in their web editions so they can tap into online advertising. We recently hired um, a designer that has a specialty in building online ads because a lot of small businesses are interested in it. In fact, brokers are now considering publishing the real estate guide every second week in The Guardian, as long as the paper produces an online version too. So Steve Bruce, CBC News, Charlottetown.